So first, you're gonna try to make the basic shape of the flowers. Start in the center. Uh, you're gonna make a big circle of the whole flower first, and then you're gonna do the center as a circle first, and then you can do those uh, bigger、um, petals. Try to do the shape of the petals one by one, and then the center just leave like a. Circle first. We're gonna add the details later. You can follow the the pictures to see、um, where is those、um, petals, how big are they. Just try your best to to do those outlines. Wearing the flowers is a little bit hard to do the、um, shapes. Just remember,、um, don't make each side too big. The center is always in the in the middle, and all those、um, petals is around those center. So you need to keep the center in the center, so all the petals is around it. Don't make、um, too big on the other side, on one side. Just try to finish the whole shape first. You can always fix them, and then we're gonna add some leaves. And now we're gonna move to the center. You're gonna try to see the details, layers by layers. Getting smaller and smaller. And then I'm gonna fix the shape. Erase some of the lines you don't need. We start in the center to do the dark color first. Always remember the the <clears throat> the flowers has the white part, so leave the white. Some parts need to be leave the the white colors in the middle. Because I want to white add the light lighter colors later. You don't need to color really dark in the beginning, because we can always go back to add darker later. And we're slowly adding more and more colors. 
to see the inside part is darker and they have transitions. Some of them like pink, red. Some of them you can add in a little bit yellow. Transition to orange colors. And when you do、uh, the colors, you want to very lightly, and slowly adding the shadings darker and darker. Don't press too hard in the beginning. We just want to see the whole thing first. Each petal connect the connect. The petals need to be separate. So, if one petal is lighter, another petal need to be darker. So they can be a little bit different. And you can see the bigger petals has different shadings. You want to very lightly and blend them very well. So we're gonna use many different colors. Try to blend them and make very smooth lines. Some of them is like. Red to orange to yellow, and then to purple to pink. So those colors, um, from warm color to cool color, like pink to purple, will be a little bit difficult to blend. So you have to press really lightly, gently first, and slowly blended them. The edges need to be blended very well. Don't be afraid to try. You can also have you can also have another paper next to you to test color first. This video is a little bit long, so you can just slowly and following the instructions. You can see that I press really lightly first, because we don't want to make mistakes. So we want to do very lightly, and then we can press harder later. And adding darker colors later. Especially, this flower is kind of like pink and white color flowers, so we don't want to add too much colors outside because the petal is a little bit more、um, white colors outside. So we want to use like more very light purple, pink, and then transitioning to. Like a gray color, but you want to use a warm color, warm grays, like a little bit more peach, yellow, gray, and the brown color can be the、mm, the shadow part.
You can see now we're still slowly adding darker colors. It blend them very well, very lightly. And you want to do the lines very smoothly. Go one direction. Don't press too hard. It's okay to see a little bit lines. The bottom layer of the petals is always darker because the, the front one creates shadows on the on the um, bottom of the petals. So you have to separate in the top and then the bottom. So you can make the bottom one a little bit darker. Still, don't press too hard in the beginning. You can always add darker and darker slowly. You can see that in one area, we use a lot of colors, which is yellow, light green, purple, pink, some brown colors to mix. Those colors can all be part of the petals, you just need to blend well. So for the coloring part, you can see the videos all by yourself to try to just follow the colors and try to follow the directions of the strokes and also try to um, blend the color very well. And for the outside of the petal, actually it's lighter color, but also remember try to make it a little bit darker around the shape of the the top petal and also leave a white line. You can see that I always leave a little bit very thin line, the white spot for the petals. Because if we don't leave that part, it will be difficult to draw that white part. So you want to just leave white in the beginning. Don't leave too big. You want to try to leave um, um, very thin. Okay. I'm still adding a little bit more shadings for the um, bottom petals. Just slowly adding darker and darker. You will see I'm going to add darker later. This picture actually took me about three and a half hours to finish. Because I was recording, pausing.
when you try to do those pictures, you don't want to see the pencil line too much. So try to blend those lines well. Always remember to leave a little bit white around those、um, petals. You can do the shape, outline the shape of the petals first, and then you can blend those colors to the bottom of the petal. When I see the warm gray colors, you can see we use the gray, light gray color, and then we use a little bit like、um, cream color to blend together. So makes the gray color looks like a more warm gray. And then we're gonna slowly adding shadings on the bottom, adding darker colors. As long as those color can blend, mix. Well, and in color is okay. I have so many colors, so I was trying to find the colors I want. So if you have the color, you can always try to find the color first, so you don't have to waste your time. Hold inside your hands and just keep switching the colors. Also, you see, I'm still、um, fixing the shape of the flowers. So in the beginning, you don't have to be perfect. You can slowly fix in it. The outline need to be very, very light. So the pencil line can erase a little bit. You don't want to see the pencil line too much.
we're slowly adding those shadings, darker colors on each part of the petals. Just be patient. If you're tired, you can take a break, take a little bit rest. And I can see the mm, shadings more and more darker blend. The petals on the bottom is always darker. We're still slowly fixing the colors, adding more shadings, adding more colors. That's why we don't want the color really dark in the beginning. When you having like a really good skills in the future, you can actually to color really dark, you know, just one time coloring. Right now, I'm just showing you the steps. You don't want to be unsure to color something you don't know, and then you will regret of it. So we want to try to slowly, slowly adding darker and darker, adding more and more colors, blending. So when you become like more professional, you can always start really dark and just go one time. That's so good too. Some artists do that.
So we didn't finish the whole flower yet, but we're just fixing more and more. But now we can move to the leaves after we finish this part. Because when we finish the leaves, we are still going back to do more flowers. So when we do the leaves, you will see that under the petal, under the flower part is dark, and coming a little bit out is lighter. So from dark to light, find the darkest green pencil you can, and find the light pencil you can. Just many different shades of green colors. You will maybe need all of them from dark to light. The color I use is not dark enough. That's why I, I keep changing different colors. Don't worry about the textures of the leaves on the side. Right now, we just want to do the basic colors for each leaves, and then we're gonna add some veins and some details on the side of the leaves. I use one color first, just adding the shading dark to light, and I'm gonna use a little bit lighter color for the light part. You can blend to the light colors, you can use a little bit yellow colors too. When you do the edges of the pictures, you don't want your pencil line to go on your table, make your table messy. You can always put a paper under your under your drawing. Now I'm gonna move to the light colors, blend these leaves. Now you can see they have like those little zigzags around the leaves. So that's the details. We're gonna slowly adding a little bit, a little bit of those things around your leaves at the end. So those things you don't need to worry. Even the lines in the middle, you don't have to add right now. Just coloring the shape of the leaves first. Just keep coloring from dark to light. You will see in this video, we're going to see the colors, just following the colors.
So quickly to to do the leaves, you can see dark to light changing to different colors, like a little bit blue greens to、uh, yellow greens. So just see the pictures and adding the veins by yourself, adding a little bit. When we finish the leaves, you can add in some details too. We're gonna move to the background a little bit, so you can see the background a little bit lighter. We're gonna shade different colors. So in the background, we used、um, pink, green, purple,、um, yellow, many colors, green colors. The background just want the flowers to stand out more. When you cut the background, you want to the background very lightly.、Mm, so we just want to blend it to different colors, go one directions, very smoothly. You don't want to see too much pencil lines. Mine can see a little bit because I don't want to do really quickly. You guys can take your time, but if you have like chalk for the background, will be really good. You don't want to mix the chalk too much because you don't want to make your background become gray or brown colors. So when you use chalk, be very careful to make it clean. So we want to do quickly to finish the whole background, and then we're gonna go back to the flowers and leaves again.
Right now, we're gonna move to the um, more and more leaves. So, you're gonna try to do the leaves colors dark to light steel. Follow the pictures, see which part is darker, which part is lighter. Always remember the leaves on the bottom will be always darker because the top one creates the shadows. And now we can do the outline of the leaves, make a little bit zigzags. Blend very well. Even though we finished the background, we still can add some leaves because the leaves is darker than the background, so we can always add in more leaves around it. That's why I'm adding the leaves too, because I feel like we need something more on top. So still blending, we can use some yellow orange to make the leaves become more like a uh, yellowish um, colors around the shapes. In this part, we're going to move back to the flower now. So the center actually is not all white colors. The, the color just very light pink colors. So we're going to slowly find in the light pink to add in more um, colors on the, in the center. And also we're going to add darker colors for the shadows too. So we're slowly fixing the colors now. We're going to slowly adding darker color for the shading and also adding some more sh um, um, lighter colors for the white part, for the light parts of the center. You can use like a very light peach color blended to outside from dark to light.
the dark purple color I'm still adding darker because the center has the most deep part so they are very dark that's why I'm gonna find like a really dark red brown colors to adding the dark colors we're slowly mixing more and more adding some colors make the flowers better and then if you leave the white outline you see the white lines around the petal too big or too wide now is the time to fix them make a little bit more narrow and a little bit more thinner if you see the shadows not dark enough around the petals now is the time also fixing the shadows so you can see the flower looks like more deeper and it looks like a more 3d looking now For most of you, it looks like this is already really good. If you still want to work more, you can still add in more darker. You can still add in some pencils, mixing. You can, add, you can still use some like blending pencils to make the flowers more, more and more details and like make them more smoother. And later, we're going to add the, the lines inside each petals, you know the like the veins inside the flowers We quickly to fix more and more, adding some more shadings for the flowers. When it's ready, we're gonna find the colors to do the lines for each petals. You don't have to make a lot of those lines, very very lightly. You don't want the lines to stand out too much. It looks like a tree branch. The longer one, lighter ones. They also have different colors. Don't just use one color for everything because some of them has a little bit purple. Some of them from the yellow part, actually they're like a little bit orange. They're white. Also they have like shavings too. Later we're gonna add some part like having a little bit of shading dark to light. You can use some gray colors. Just, just you can see the veins has to follow the directions how the paddle goes. So if your paddle is going to like left to the right, so the veins is also left to the right. It is from the the front to the bottom. You have to follow the flowers grow growing the the, the directions.
Now is the time. Actually, this picture has a lot of、uh, those little water drops. I didn't finish doing that. When I finish, I'm gonna post a picture. You guys don't have to do that. And hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Thank you.